The Eagles have been playing terribly over the last month. Their coaches are clueless during games, players are getting mad, and the fans are even more mad for having to watch this team suck time and time again. The defense gives up big play after big play, and the offense is coached by one of Philly's worst sports figures since Chip Kelly. We have a lot to talk about in this video, so I appreciate if you are able to stick with me. Subscribe if you haven't yet if you want to stay up to date with all things Philly sports. Jalen Hurts is not playing like the Jalen Hurts we saw last year. He is way more careless with the football as he is throwing interceptions at a really high rate. Through 15 games, he already has 13 interceptions compared to the 6 he threw last year in 15 games. His decisions with his throws are not good at all and his football awareness has been really questionable at times. For example, in the game against the Giants, time was running down in the first half. Hurts and the Eagles had time for one more play before they would need to kick a field goal. Hurts rolls out, but he has to get out of bounds to stop the clock. Instead of stepping out, he cuts back 15 yards away from the end zone, getting tackled in bounds. Luckily, the Giants got called for a delay of game, because if not, Hurts would have cost the Eagles 3 points. It's dumb things like this that can hurt a team, so Jalen Hurts has to be better. A lot of this shouldn't be on Hurts, however, which leads me to my next and biggest point. Brian Johnson is absolutely killing the Eagles. I understand that Nick Sirianni says the blame should be on him because it's his offense, but I don't buy that BS. Shane Steichen used Sirianni's offense last season and flourished, so why is Brian Johnson having trouble calling that same offense? It's because he is an awful play caller and doesn't know what he's doing. He has four plays that he chooses from. Those plays are the QB draw, his personal favorite, the wide receiver screen, four verticals, or four comeback routes. 95% of the time one of these plays are the play call and has become the forefront of the most predictable offense in football history. Jalen Hurts is running a QB draw to the left. The tight end's gonna pull. He's deep. Tight end's deep, so he's sifting backside. There you go. Ooh, look at that. Uh, look at that. He, he sifted, but it wasn't a, to the left. That, that, you know, that's pretty good. Left. That's a pretty good prediction. Do they? Go, do they go? They were barely able to beat the Giants, who have one of the worst defenses in football. They've not blown out a team all year because they don't know how to score situationally. The talent on this team is the only thing that has carried them to their 11-4 record because Brian Johnson is one of the worst play callers I have ever seen. He never utilizes the middle of the field and loves to call plays that take 8 seconds to develop. By the time his play develops, Hertz is forced to scramble or throw it away because no one ends up being open. I'm going to throw up a graphic on the screen of a Jalen Hertz pass chart from the Giants game as well as one from Shane Steichen's play calling. As you can see, Steichen used the whole field while calling his plays and rarely threw behind the line of scrimmage. This is how the Eagles offense should be because it utilizes all of their strengths. Now if you look at Brian Johnson's play calling, only two balls were thrown over the middle of the field and one was a touchdown. Every other ball is being bunched up in the same spots by the sideline, with eight balls being thrown behind the line of scrimmage. After looking at this you cannot tell me that Brian Johnson's play calling is not a huge issue for Jalen Hurts and the Eagles offense. It may be Sirianni's offense, but Brian Johnson doesn't know how to use it properly. If he stays the offensive coordinator for the playoffs, the Eagles are going to lose in either the first or second round. Other than their terrible offensive scheme, the Eagles have many other problems that they need to fix. The one that showed up during the Giants game is there seems to be tension in the locker room. Video came out of Devontae Smith being angry on the sideline at Nick Sirianni and he has every right to feel that way. They have not been getting the job done on offense, and the players are finally starting to speak up about it. I've been saying that I don't think this is a player issue, but instead a major coaching issue. I think it all stems from the play calling by Johnson, but it could be more than that. Whatever it is, the Eagles need to get it right, because toxic teams don't win anything. They have to get on the same page in these last two games and build that chemistry back up for the playoffs. The defense has been overlooked this year because of how bad the offense has been, but the defense has been one of the worst in football. They are 25th in points allowed, 30th in 3rd down defense, and 29th in red zone defense. The pass rushing has been brutal to say the least, as they have gone from 70 sacks last year to only 45 this year. Those numbers make me sick. We keep teams in games because it's so easy to score against us. Yeah, the defense lost some key guys, either to free agency or injury, but that is no excuse to be this bad. This is a substantial drop off, and I really don't know what to make of it. Last year, the Eagles lost the Super Bowl because they couldn't play defense, and they might lose again in the playoffs because they have one of the worst defenses in the NFL. This next point goes back to Brian Johnson. The Eagles need to run the football. It's really that simple. Back in 2021, they made the playoffs solely off of running the football at such a high rate. 
with almost that same offensive line and a better running back room with DeAndre Swift and Kenneth Gainwell, they should be pounding the rock. Instead, Brian Johnson only likes to do inside zone runs out of the shotgun which only go for 3 yards every play. They need to figure out a better running game plan because that is what's going to carry them through the playoffs. Their pass plays are awful this year, so let the guys figure it out on the ground instead of the air. I just have a really bad feeling about this team going into the playoffs. Yes, they are probably going to be at least the number 2 seed, but the flaws stick out too much to be overlooked. Last year, the offense was mostly able to negate the defensive issues, but this year, the offense has run so poorly that I am more worried about them than the defense. The playoffs are going to be a reality check for the Eagles, who have been more worried about protecting certain people's jobs than winning football games. I don't like what I'm seeing out of the team, but I hope that they surprise me. These next two games need to be blowouts against Arizona and New York for me to feel any better than I do right now. Even then, the Eagles still have a serious problem.